I'm sure many of you have seen commercials for native deodorant on the big screen. And as a loyal customer, I felt like voicing my concerns over their products. So this is a direct example of astroturfing. Basically, a company pretending to have grassroots origins, this awesome message, yet it's backed by a lot of corporate money and generally steals someone else's ideas and concepts. The problem isn't that this native deodorant company is astroturfing or stealing other people's ideas, although that might not be a good look, the point is that they're twisting the message to sell people garbage. Just like the carnivores are using sustainable agriculture to sell people grain finished feedlot meat. Native deodorant is using the integrity and honesty, building trust of smaller natural product companies and they're using these clever marketing tactics to sell people highly processed chemical garbage. Astroturfing is nothing new. You know, every day I decide to watch TV, I see a new company astroturfing with some clever name. You know, imagine something like Blue Apron that just rebrands themselves over and over again to appear as something new, but it's the same stuff, same corporations, same people stealing people's money. By no means am I the only person to sell products like this, but Native is using near identical marketing tactics as well as product formulas as myself. So to work hard for over two years now, killing myself every single day, barely grossing over minimum wage with my company, it's one thing if they were selling a product that has integrity, but they aren't. The two main marketing points they're using that I was using are fluoride free toothpaste and aluminum free deodorant. So this is their toothpaste. All of the ingredients that are in my tooth powder are conveniently in theirs, but they added a bunch of chemicals, xanthan, carrageenan, things that have proven negative side effects that you shouldn't be putting on your body, let alone brushing your teeth with. This theme, these tactics occur with all of their products. You know, they steal my marketing and some of my ingredients, then add a bunch of chemicals and fillers, plus they package it in plastic. You can't market a product as natural or ideal if it's in plastic, especially products that have to be put in the plastic when they are warm. You know, a lot of this stuff is usually heated to a liquid, then that hot liquid is poured into plastic containers, which can leach chemicals from the plastic into the product. It's why I use stainless steel on Frankie's Naturals for most of my products, and when I make the lip balm that has to be put in plastic, I make sure it's almost cooled off, at the minimal temperature possible when I pour it into the molds. Some of these products require water and they don't specify using filtered, reverse osmosis, or well water and to me that's a red flag they don't care or want an intelligent customer base. You know, it's just deceptive marketing. The ingredient list on the body wash is comical. I can't even pronounce this stuff. You know, cocomito prefil betaine, sodium laurel sarcosinate. Yeah, I literally have to you know do a rehearsal for two minutes just to say them right. Like, do I have to explain what these are? Every single processed chemical like that needs solvents or other chemicals to be made. You know, they put salt, but like water, aren't specifying the type of salt. You're marketing a product to be natural, but won't even tell people what salt you're putting in. Is that because you're using a highly processed, you know, table salt sodium chloride? Sodium salicylate, sodium benzoate, citric acid, and sodium cocktail isothionate? Is this a joke? <laughs> I think it is. This body wash doesn't have one natural ingredient in it. And this is actually kind of funny. I'm not even angry anymore. Uh, this made my day because this company is a joke. This is hilarious. They're pretending to be a natural product company, yet they're selling a body wash that is only chemicals. That doesn't have one natural ingredient. Safe, effective ingredients. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not too sure about that marketing. How's that, how's that working for you guys? I guess people don't read the website. With the deodorant, like mine, they're marketing it as aluminum free. Yet again, they added a bunch of chemicals and fillers. What interests me is they're putting glycerin, glucose, various dextrose products in these cosmetics, and those are made from corn. So is this a carnivore? Oh, 
shill company? Are they trying to use up highly processed corn products, cyclodextrin, glucose, glycerin? Each of these are made from good old corn, great I American. Woo wee, boys. I'm excited. We never use aluminum, parabens, or sulfates in any of our products. Hashtag no compromises. Yeah, but what? You use 10 other chemicals? Th th these people are a bunch of clowns. Let's keep going though. Bar soap. At least they put a few natural ingredients in this one. What you'll notice is they're using cheap conventional monocropped garbage. Palm oil is obviously a very cheap product and that's what comprises most of this bar soap. There's literally four different products derived from palm oil with various solvents and chemicals. Overall, it's really sad, but you know, that's what these people do. I'm sure you guys have heard, you know, the famous comedian George Carlin's quote, there's a big club and you ain't in it. That speaks volumes here. You know, if you have an idea, you usually won't have the means to market or produce it without being a part of that club. You know, it's very difficult to do so. You know, these people literally started up a company with my ideas, similar ideas, and made millions in a matter of months because of their crooked connections. I'm still sitting here making deodorant and moisturizing cream out of my parents' house. I can't even afford to pay a few thousand dollars rent for my own facility. You know, the point here is that these people are deceptive, essentially liars, but very clever. You know, I'm not saying buy my products. You know, I would even incentivize for you to try other companies, go on Etsy, support a bunch of different small businesses. I could go on about this astroturfing stuff all day, how it disgusts me, happened with my meat company, happened with my carnivore ideas on YouTube, happens every time someone has a good idea, but most of the time, people aren't as fortunate as myself to have a platform to speak up against it. And uh, I mean, I was looking forward to making this video today because I know uh, some of you fairy la la sissies are uh, peeing your panties at the title of this video and I'm sure you shit your panties after you watch this video. So I hope you boys are having as fun as me. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>